Oh, yo, I just hit a clip. I'm so glad I can look back at it at the Valorant replay system. Oh. Why haven't they made it yet? When is this supposed to come out? Sometime next year. That's ridiculous. It can't be that hard. You know what? Fine. I'll do it myself. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. It'll make a super cool video. Wait, how am I gonna do this? Well, I can't modify the game directly because Riot's anti-cheat will do a funny gamer move called permanently banning my account. So I'm gonna have to recreate a simplistic version of Valorant on my own. And once I've recreated Valorant, I can try to implement a replay system into it. All right, I don't really have any experience uh, making games and I, I barely ever coded before. So how to make Valorant? Oh, that was actually really easy. Make sure to set the alpha scissor to 0.1 to make the rendering order work properly. What is an alpha scissor? <laughs> Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe I'll try reaching out to a fellow YouTuber. Um, help. No. Uh, would you be... N ah! Now that I have someone with game design experience to help me, let's define the problem. Well, we'll need to make a simple first-person controller to represent Valorant. I'm not exactly sure how I can do that, but... Oh, Nagi already did it. Awesome. Now comes the important part. Replay system. In order to watch a replay of your game, we'll need a way to record what your gameplay is and store it to be played back. There's one problem. What's your gameplay? Me and Nagi decided to break down your gameplay into its simplest parts to make it the easiest to record and store. We're going to track everything in the game that changes. So that means you, your teammates, the stage wall, that raise nade, and even non-physical things like the time left in the round or the score of the game because those change too. Okay, so what information do we need to store about everything that changes to create an accurate replay? Let's focus on just the player first. Well, their position around the map changes, the direction they're facing changes, and this is the key one, their state changes. Like California? No. Shut up. The state of the player is anything that isn't already covered by location and direction, such as is the player running, is the player crouching, and lots of other things that are either true or false. And there you go. Just record and store that information a bunch of times every second. Let's go with 60. And there's your replay file. To watch it, just play back the information you stored at the same rate it was recorded at, 60 times a second. But Sammy, that's only the player. Guess what? It's the same thing for everything else. Sage wall? Just position, direction, and then a state. Is it broken? Is it forming? Killjoy turret? Just a position and a direction, and is it shooting? Is it not shooting? Even parts of the map, like the door on ascent. Position, direction, and is it open or closed? And if you're smart, you can even skip on the position and direction spot and set that beforehand because it's always in the same spot. Just like your gun model. You don't have to have a separate position for your gun model, it can relate directly to the player. Just one simple logical conclusion on how to define objects creates an entire replay system. So if it's that simple, why isn't it finished yet? Backend integration. Valorant is a multiplayer game, so that means it doesn't only run on your computer. The game mostly runs on a server, an expensive box full of computer stuff that's just sitting in a room somewhere. You do stuff on your computer, it tells the little box what you did via the internet, then the box tells you what happened. The box is the one that determines the outcome. Because of this setup, Mr. Box possesses the most accurate and complete representation of the match. That means we need to record the replay from the server and not the client. We also can't rely on client-sided data because it introduces a lot of vulnerabilities. Speaking of vulnerabilities, did you know the server doesn't actually tell you everything about the game, but only just a little more than what's necessary. It's called Fog of War and it's really cool. Shh. Replay system. Oh yeah. All that matters is we're recording the replay from the server, and that takes resources. Riot Games already uses server resources to run the servers for each match, so they would just need to dedicate some more to each match to run the replay system. Given that several million people play Valorant, that's going to be a lot of resources and a lot of money. But that's probably not the issue. Riot has plenty. It will be a lot of work logistically to transform their current infrastructure into one that will support a replay system software, but there's another issue that I find more interesting. Sammy, how do you know all this? Didn't you like drop out of college? Actually, I don't know any of this. I'm just repeating what a qualified software engineer told me. Here, I'll let him talk about the the cool thing. There's one priority that Riot Games has to keep at the absolute forefront of their minds at all times. Reliable game outcomes. Valorant, at its core, is a competitive game. When Riot adds any new feature, they have to be 100% certain to never interfere with the outcome of the game. Well, how could a replay system interfere with the game itself? Let me give you a super oversimplified example. Let's say that you're trying to write a replay file to a Valorant server's hard drive. Writing that replay file to disk fails for one reason or another. It's not uncommon for software and hardware to fail periodically. The server attempts to handle this error and retry writing to disk, which is normally considered to be a best practice. Doing this is slow and delays the server processing the game tick where someone peeks you. The peeker's client already knows that this peek will happen, but your client is waiting to receive that information from the server. Thank you, Brad. Very cool. Check him out at Cloud Dev. All right, that's enough talking. Let's finally look at the replay system we made. 
Nah, I got you there. There's still more talking. <laughs> I no, please don't leave. I swear it's interesting. I swear, I swear. All right, let's talk about the code. I'm gonna go through this really fast, but just in case, here's the entire code. If I'm recording, append the position and rotation of the player. And if I'm playing the recording, set the position of the player equal to the position that was recorded in the order it was recorded in. That's, that's the entire thing. All right, let's look at the replay system now. Okay, so I mean, this is, uh, this is it. You can kind of walk around, you look around. I can crouch, I can jump, and I can uh, start recording right there, do some spins, do a little spin right here. Um, I don't know. And then let's watch the replay. Wow. Wowee. It's, I'm not touching my keyboard. It's exactly what I did before. Look, I can also put down a stage wall. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I'm up on a, I'm up on a stage wall. Look at this. I'm kind of goaded. Can I make a jump up to- Oh, I can't. I wish I could. What? Wait. Wait, explain. Whoa. Okay, wait, this is sick. Why is this happening? Okay, so when I jump, I'm just adding vertical velocity. And if I already have vertical velocity from the wall, it makes it more and I go really high. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, so C is the wall button for, for stage wall. Or if oh, you wanna- what the? Yeah, boom, look, it's a stage wall. Wait, this is real. Stage wall. This is sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 throw it down, throw it down. See what it looks like. <laughs> you can press C again to make it rotate. Oh, this isn't accurate stage gameplay. It's not accurate stage gameplay. You're right. The challenge is you can kind of see where the course goes. And right. there's a there's a final little gold pad at the very end. Try to get to the end with the least number of walls possible. It's kind of fun. You can like grim wall. So if I jump, does that trampoline me? Okay. Oh, you know, so if I add one. Yeah, there you oh, go. <laughs> it's literally a trampoline. Okay, got you. You can okay, you so can jump, you know, you know, you could just jump over the little gaps. So you're saying I could have jumped across them? No, I couldn't have. I know I <gasps> Oh, wait, you're different. He's crazy. I'm really bad at parkour game. Boom. We're oh, up. you got the technology. He's crazy. Boom. Oh, don't We're die of fall damage. What? Nah. That's fucked. Okay. Damn, I gotta keep track of that too. That's insane. You got this? You got this? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, so that's enough. I'm good. You're done. You're done. It's yep. over. That's mm -hmm. it. Isn't it like slightly entertaining, but like in a bad way? You know what I mean? This is like Flappy Bird, bro. Right? This is gonna be the next uh, Subway Surfers behind all the um, Reddit commentary videos. Hi, uh, 27 male. <laughs> the goal is to do as little walls as possible. So that's that's the right, that's the challenge. <laughs> one, two. Oh, big jump. Oh, okay. okay. Let's okay, go. Okay, okay. okay. Here's the next one. One, two. No, but like oh, I wanna, you, but you die of fall damage. <laughs> oh. That's why I put that in there, so you can't just infinite wall, you know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn, yo, you're pissing me off, Sammy. <laughs> One, two. All right. All right. Wait, this is the most fun shit, part. Crap. You get to explore, understand where to go. Okay, I see. I see this. <laughs> oh, oh, so I'm, I need to catch myself there. This game file is definitely going in the description of the video. I want to see some like random dude online speedrun this game. That would be yeah, sick. just absolutely destroy the current record. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, someone's gonna do it in like two walls, and I'm gonna cry. Oh, oh, work the same. Oh, fuck. come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. And then there's the there's the ending. It's over there. It's past that big old wall. I'm skipping the spot and I'm just going straight. Oh, yeah, I yeah, can yeah. claim that. One, two. What the fuck? One, two. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. It's over. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Alright, that's cheating, right? <laughs> One, two. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Man, this is like like the fall damage. This guy has like the weakest legs in the world. I'm assuming from this trampoline, we mm -hmm. should be safe then. Oh, yep. okay, gotcha. What's under here though? Oh, it's literally just, okay. That's the end. So, oh, that's the end. Okay, bet. I've been suffering right at the end, damn. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then the final, the final one. What the? Is there a thing on the other side of this? <laughs> oh, wait, I have an idea. Oh, okay. Let's go! Oh! Okay. Is that the end right there? Mm hmm that's the end. That's the end. You're almost there. You did it! I Yippee! win! You win! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yippee! F whatever all that is. Well, that's pretty much it. I know I only showed up the replay system like one time, but honestly, it's not that interesting in just a demo. It was more fun to just show off me torturing my friends with the sage wall. But this video was so much fun to make as a proof of concept for the replay system. And thank you so much to Nagi who helped out so much on this project. Huge love to him and everyone else who helped out with this video. All the stuff we made is in the description. Bye bye.